It's a nice view right here. But the hole was so big <laughs> until now. How do you that empty set? The nail polish. Them start adding wood water and them they have always had it wood water start. You know the first time I tasted falafel was at Subway, but Subway was not ready. <laughs> Subway is like a fake falafel. <laughs> it's like the real deal. Like chocolate. Like that. Okay, now I get everybody got try ice cream. Got some yummy cornbread. It's so good. Like so so good. Yeah, man. Stop me. Ah, yeah. Stop me. Most of you guys skipped to the end of the video because you guys want to see me dye my locks, right? So um, I'm going to be using a semi-permanent natural hair dye. Apparently it's natural, so I hope that it really is natural because sometimes products might say that, oh, they have this ingredient, that ingredient is 100% natural, and then come to find out it's not natural. But um, yeah, so this isn't a permanent dye. It's supposed to last for like 30 days, but some people in the comments said that it lasted for about 40 days and not 30 days. So I guess it all depends on, you know, how much you use or your hair type or whatever the case is. That's why I'm here looking at mess right now. I have on this old shirt. First, let me show you guys what dye it is because I know you guys are wondering. So this is the hair dye. It's called Dexy Black Hair Shampoo. So that's the hair dye. Um, they sell it on Amazon. You can also get it on Timu. This video isn't sponsored, by the way. Um, I actually got this on Timu because at the time um, I ordered other products from Timu. So I was like, let me just order everything one time. So yeah, I ordered this a couple months ago. It comes with 10 packs of black hair shampoo and some natural herbal ingredients on the screen right here. Instructions it says, Please make sure the hair is dry before use. Wear the gloves, squeeze out the cream mix evenly and apply on hair. Massage hair slightly until the cream spread evenly on hair. Keep the cream on hair for five to 10 minutes. Um, if the hair is more, please use two to three packets. Wash it out with shampoo or conditioner and let your hair dry. So I'm not going to be dyeing all of my hair. I'm just going to be dyeing a few locks, test it out a little bit. And we'll see what happens. So I, um, I'm gonna show you guys. So I separated the locks that I want to dye. So, so these locks have the most silver hair. So I'm just gonna apply the 
black um, shampoo on these locks and just test it out and see how it goes it's easier than going to the hair salon they say so I'm hoping that this process is easy after I apply the dye obviously I'm gonna wash my hair and all of that let it dry and then I'm going to twist my hair so oh yeah and I wanted to show y'all whenever I retwist my locks I always put my hair into a ponytail and I retwist it but instead I seen that a lot of people with locks been using these I'm not sure what you call them um, these hair clamps right here when I retwist my locks I'm, I'm going to place my locks inside of these clamps to hold it so that the retwist does not unravel so yeah I bought a pack of those so I cannot wait to try these out so y'all wish me luck let's see what happens I don't really have anything to mix it in so I'm just gonna use this old plastic cup right here and this is how the packs look y'all I hope I don't make a mess because I'm super clumsy my couch is white like I don't know we'll just see how this goes that's why I'm only testing it on these ones in the front um, I have a little mirror right here so I can see what I'm doing I'm actually gonna put the mirror right here so yeah I'm just gonna use the bottom of an old makeup brush to mix it because I don't have any plastic spoons or forks and none of that, none of that right now. So, wait. Let me put my hair. Let me put the rest of my hair in a ponytail for now. So I'm going to be dyeing this part of my hair. So I'm just gonna put the rest of my hair into a ponytail. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave this one out, hold on. Let me leave out my special one for now. <laughs> because that's my favorite gray hair lock. So I'm just gonna, but honestly it's in the way, so we'll see what happens. If a little bit of that gets on it, it's whatever. It's not permanent, so, okay. Ooh, I'm hot and I'm scared, I don't know what I'm doing. Put this back for now until until I'm ready to let me open this up. So I'm just gonna cut this. Ooh. Hope it don't stink, y'all. Some people say it smells like rotten eggs. And it's... Okay, so I'm just gonna pour it into the cup. Okay, so there's, it doesn't really have a bad smell yet <laughs> mixture of brown and white in it i'll show y'all in a second trying to pour it. i'm gonna need more than one pack for sure so i'm gonna put two packs in here because actually maybe i don't need two packs it did say put gloves on right now but i didn't even put my gloves on let me squeeze out another pack all right so this is how it looks it's like brown, dark brown and white inside of it. So I'm just going to mix it with this. The main comments that I was looking for is comments from black people with my type of hair texture. And I got the comments I was looking for. So me seeing those comments was a confirmation that it's okay. On my handy dandy gloves. We're gonna do this, y'all. I'm why am I so nervous right now? I'm hot, I'm nervous. Start sweating bricks in a second. <laughs> All right, y'all. Moment of truth. I need to look closer. Hold on. So, I'm just gonna use my fingers because, yeah, you're supposed to use your hands. Before I do this, I just want to let y'all know that I love my silver hair, but I just there's just too much going on. Those of you that have been watching my videos for a long time, you guys know that I embrace my natural silver silver hair, right? But I only like silver hair on that one lock that has it the most. So that one, I'm not going to dye. But the ones that are all over the place, those ones gotta go. <laughs> so I just put some on the gloves. Let me put it on the gloves. I'm just going to go like this. that 
Y'all, I don't know if I should be using a brush or what, but like. Ah! It got on my hand, y'all. It got on my hand. That's why I need the other glove. Okay. Okay, so this one is done. Y'all, what? Oh my god. Just put these ones to the back. Y'all, it's not even messy, but I'm the one that's making it messy. This is the next day. This is how it looks. The only thing is I should have used a little bit more than what I used because I was kind of scared and this was just a test but next time I'm definitely going to use more dye but for the most part it works. If I use a little bit more most of the gray hairs would have been fully covered. I'll give y'all another angle of the hair. Oop, this is in my way. 